John Witteveen lives and works on this farm in southern Ontario. But on Saturdays, if the weather's nice, he travels an hour and a half east of here to the streets of downtown Toronto. There at the corner of Young and Dundas, he treats passers-by to the sights and sounds of turn-of-the-century hollow. <laughs> Some of John Witteveen's earliest memories are of the organ grinders he saw as a boy in Holland. There was always one on the market on Saturday mostly, and people look at him, listen to him. I never wanted to be an airline pilot or a fireman. I wanted to be an organ grinder. From what age? Probably five or six, but most people forget about uh, the ideas, but I'm a slow thinker, so it would last longer. <laughs> you know? Now, when your Saturday is finished... Uh... Oh, then I've seen it all. I've seen the town. I've seen the people. Okay, Sue, so we're home. I'll be ready to go to work for another week. When John left Holland for Canada at the age of 19, he traded the sound of the street organ for the noise of a big diesel grain digging machine. When you first come to a new country, you have to learn the language, you got no money. You haven't got much time to realize what you're missing. So you went into the drainage business? I went into the drainage business, and now that's actually how I made a living. Farm drainage for all those years. Well, everyone knows about the Dutch. They're, they're famous for reclaiming land from the sea. That's right. <laughs> well, I had to work hard, but I still wanted an organ. All this while? Oh, yeah. Still, still on your mind? Still on my mind that i got to be an organ guy or something. In 1970, John went back to Holland and tracked down a big old street organ. And they're going to put a new form on it. And it's going to look like one of the real old-fashioned ones, like it looked a hundred years ago. It's going to be, be really nice. Drums, violins, clarinets, bells and whistles, and everything moves on it. It's hardly portable, though. I mean... Oh, it will be portable because it will have four wheels on with it. How many monkeys go with this one? No, no, just me and Susie. <laughs> Say hi to Wayne. Say hi to Wayne. Susie hooked up with John in 1974. Nice to see you. By now, John had a smaller hurdy-gurdy style organ, also purchased in Holland. Susie was right at home. How are you, Susie? Say, I'm fine. Oh, she whistled. Does she ever complain? No. No, no, she don't complain. She's always very kind, very gentle. She's a little sweetheart. Ah! Of course, she's almost human. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, this is a cute yeah. What is this passion you have for leaving the farm on Saturday and going into the city? Well, the whole week I'm out there, pretty well by myself, digging ditches, nobody around. And on Saturdays, I, I like a change. So I load Susie up. We go to Toronto. It's entertainment to meet people. You can look at them. You cannot go and stand on a street corner and look at people. But you have a little organ with you, and you stop and look at you. What kind of people stop and watch you perform? Oh, all walks of life. All ages? All ages. Women, men, children. Of course, they all think they're watching me, but they don't realize I'm looking at them. Ah, you watch them. Yeah, yeah, you see. <laughs> they really don't realize that I'm watching them. Who's having more fun? The people I have you more or the fun than they do. You do. Yeah, me and Sue. What do you tell people who think you make a lot of money? Hi, how are you? Hi, Sue. Well, I tell them they should try it. And if it was that profitable, more people be doing it. They don't realize you put 20 bucks of gas in your car, you pay $20 for parking. By the time you buy a hot dog, 
You know, there's not that much money. There's even less money once you factor in Susie's eating habits. She eats a little more extravagantly. Oh, sometimes I buy a bit of shrimp for her. You know, so she likes shrimp. How does, how does, how does one <clears throat> find out that a monkey likes shrimp? Well, whatever I eat, she will eat. Keeps everybody happy, right? No, I won't. I won't take it away from you. No use arguing with a monkey. No. <laughs> no. It's a little piece of Holland, a centuries-old tradition being played out here at the corner of Young and Dundas. How much longer it'll last, though, no one knows. Not even John Witherbeam. At one time there was lots of organ grinders, but now, as so far as I know, the only one, Susie and I, are the only one left doing it. Okay, give me a kiss. It took a lot of mind control. You have to be able to control your fear. 